Garamba National Park in eastern Congo, an area the size of Connecticut, home to elephants, giraffes, hippos, and the Lord's Resistance Army, or LRA. What is the LRA doing in Garamba? These days, they're poaching elephants. LRA leader Joseph Kony is personally ordering his forces to kill elephants and bring him the tusks. It's part of a broader pattern that is decimating Africa's elephant population. Global demand for ivory is soaring, driving prices to record highs. In Asia, this pair of tusks is worth $1,000 a pound. So the LRA and other armed groups in the region have turned to poaching, trading lucrative ivory for food, guns, and ammunition. Luis Arans is fighting to save Garamba's wildlife. Originally from Spain, he has lived here and managed the park since 2009. The Enough Project spent a week with Arans documenting the role of the LRA in ivory poaching. What more needs to be done in this game of cat and mouse between the rangers and the LRA fighters? What what can the, the world do? The to problem be is that the ranger we, we can we can try to stop the poachers, the norm, normal poachers, but with the LRA is very very difficult for us because normally in the national park the owner of the national park are the, the rangers. The, the poachers come, they are afraid, they try to shoot and run away. Right. But in this case, it's not the, the, the same. It's the, the owner of the park as the LRA. They are more than us. They know the park better than us. In 2009 the LRA even attacked park headquarters, killing 16 people and causing $2 million in damage. 130 rangers employed by international NGO African Parks are charged with patrolling Garamba, but they are outmanned and outgunned by the LRA and other armed groups. Recently escaped abductees tell the Enough Project that the LRA sets up camps for up to three months. They operate in highly mobile groups with 70 to 100 armed fighters and 150 to 200 captives. Rangers showed us an LRA campsite they discovered in April 2012. A dammed up spring revealed their water source. Items such as sandals of women captives and tarps used for shelter were scattered about. We just came back from uh, seeing uh, an actual confirmed LRA camp, seeing how they had cut out uh, almost a stairway up into the trees so they could put someone to, to keep guard and, and to monitor the area. See the remnants of, of their sandals, seeing the, the mosquito nets, uh, seeing the, the tarplins that they used to build their, their very simple uh, huts for the night. All of these things, I've heard them over and over again from different survivors, but actually seeing there uh, brought it to life and, and also gave me a first-hand impression of how the LRA is actually able to survive. They are able to find refuge and, and hide from, from the forces as, that are pursuing them. Details are murky about how the LRA trades ivory, but the operation is clearly sophisticated. Senior LRA commanders use satellite telephones and GPS. Eyewitnesses report seeing third parties who arrive in helicopters to trade the ivory for food, arms, and ammunition. The LRA kidnaps adults, forcing them to carry baggage. Many of the captives are children and women abducted from nearby villages to be used as soldiers or sex slaves. The LRA preys on the local population as they traverse roads through the park and adjacent hunting reserves. Ça c'est les les lacets avec lesquels le le monsieur de la du vélo s'est servi pour emballer le bagage derrière son vélo. La LRA lorsqu'il est sorti ils étaient sortis de Bruce, ils ont coupé ça à l'aide d'une machette pour vite s'accaparer de tout le bagage que le monsieur avait transporté derrière son vélo. With limited resources and manpower, Luis Arans and the rangers in Garamba are fighting an uphill battle to protect the park. For Garamba's elephants, there may not be much time left. In the 1970s, 20,000 elephants roamed Garamba. Now, only 1,800 remain. 
During our week in the park, we didn't see a single elephant. But the fight is not lost. Increased support to park rangers and an ongoing commitment to once and for all end the LRA can help save Africa's remaining elephants and enable civilians to live without fear of LRA attacks.